Hey guys, it's Frodo Wrangler back at you, and this is a one that I'm not too familiar with as far as his, his work. I'm just now getting into it, but he goes by the name East Coast Audits, and this guy is a total tool. I mean, if there was an actual picture in the dictionary of douche canoe, it would be this moron. Now, he's in Pennsylvania, and he's going to go try his luck with a uh a dmv and it's gonna be not good for him he gets his ass handed to him let's just say that and you're gonna laugh you're gonna fall on your ass laughing when you see who he gives shout outs to at the start of the video all right guys i hope you all enjoy this let's just keep taking them down one at a time Mr. Nice Guy, Rogue Nation, and CRA Audits is who he studied under, apparently. You, I mean, you couldn't even get a damn degree from the damn chilly clown college in law school on YouTube with those recommendations. What a loser. You really shouldn't, though. If by like, you mean absolutely destroy point by point and roast your dumb ass, then okay. God, do we hope so. I have my reasons for that, but we're going to find out here really soon. So, uh, give it a second and let's go in. See you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So, we get in Oh, important fact. I'm not 100% on this. I will have to do some more research. But I'm pretty sure that PennDOT, which I think is some form of an acronym for Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, I think that might actually be a company name. I think this might be a lot like a lot of other DMVs in the country that is actually a private company. So we'll we'll have to find out more on that, but let's just see how stupid he is. All right, guys, I want y'all, like I said, I want y'all to listen to every retort he tries to give the people that are going to run his dumb ass out of there. But he, and now I'm glad that he said, you know, his three heroes, but yeah, he's, he's actually, he's sounding like all of them. Can I speak to somebody who's maybe a supervisor? Because I know you can record government buildings. You can record the outside of government buildings. 
Absolutely. Outside of a government building, you are welcome all day film. But in What a petulant child. I mean, I got to give him this. At least he's not, you know, whining like high pitch. I want to see your manager like Chili. But, you know, he's still acting like a bitch just the same. There has to be a supervisor. I see a sign in this house. I know there's probably a sign in here, but that's unconstitutional. You can't record him. You can record him down in my building. Yes, you can. Can I record him a couple of months later? Yes, you can. I just did it yesterday at City Hall. <laughs> can't do it here. Uh, all right, yeah, thank you. These are our workers here. Well, don't touch me, man. Don't touch me, though. Just don't touch me. Just don't touch me. Okay, we can't record in here. I know, but you're, you're getting... Whoa, don't touch me. Just can't record back in here, up. Right? All right, back up. Snowflake alert. Snowflake alert. I know, but now you're getting aggressive. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I know, but now you touch me, and now it's a different story. I well, if he assaulted you, why don't you call the police? And for the record, in Pennsylvania, a person hired as security can remove you from a building it doesn't matter if he's private security if he's a uh, undeputized security officer for a courthouse it does not matter he can he or she can not follow him give him a chance to leave and he does not leave he wants to stand there and argue like a petulant child then they can physically remove you. They don't have to de-escalate shit. I wish you idiots would stop saying, you need to de-escalate, you need to de-escalate. No, you need to get fucked. Nobody wants to assault him. Ma'am, speak for yourself. But ma'am, he, he's there to get a birth certificate. See, he wasn't actually given a birth certificate. His birth certificate, in, in fact, is an apology, an apology letter from the condom company and a settlement check for his parents. Oh, look at that, guys. Another frauded or myth. Another frauded or myth that security in a private building or a government building that they are only allowed to observe and report. They're not allowed to touch them. They're not allowed to walk them out and do their job. They're not there to be... And that's what a journalist does. A journalist observes, interviews, and reports. Those people are there for the safety of everyone in that building, including the employees. You better bet your ass he can bounce your dumb ass out of there.
Nobody want. They don't want to touch you because then they got to go clean their hands with gasoline because they'll. They, you're all fraudery. Is that like a law? If they're county employees, I think they're doing a bang up job and they need a raise. And the reason, it, it, in case everybody doesn't know, the reason that he wants them to call the police is so that he doesn't have to stop recording, which he's doing illegally anyway. He's making the frauditor mad. And the frauditor's going to go tell on him. Well, you can tell he's a rookie frauditor because he just put his own face on the video. Wow. So anyways, guys, this is where you come to register the road. You're going to fly. That's the restroom. Get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants you to he came up because you're doing something wrong and it's his job to call you on it yes he came up because he was doing his job why don't you get a job so now everybody's job. flipping out because he started. No, that's his job. But why weren't they flipping he off was, before he came up to The me? bottom line is his job is his You're job. dismissed, man. You're not allowed to These guys up here are covered with this one up here. We're just having the peace. Nobody wants to talk to anybody. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> Unconstitutional sign right there. That needs ripped down. Somebody please call the police. Cause he already assaulted me on camera. And hopefully there's little little guy. I got a feeling that if that security guard assaulted you, you wouldn't be conscious. I got a feel that that fellow looks like he knows how to handle himself, and you're a fraud, so you don't. So, yeah, you might want to stop talking shit before that fine gentleman or that, that lady supervisor takes your camera and gives you a discount colonoscopy with it. Make sure that the thousands that are watching get his security thing for it. Security, private security. Make sure to get his name and make sure you call and complain and send thousands of emails to this place. Oh, damn. All right, a couple things, guys. And I'm sorry, but this, this just had to be done. One, call flooding is illegal. And he just 
specifically, he didn't even get real slick about it. You can tell this is a rookie because he wasn't even slick about it with the wink, wink, nod, nod. Now, the phone number here is so-and-so. Their names are this. Call and harass them. Oh, hell no. He straight up said, call here. Thousands of you make thousands of calls. That's, that's illegal. And two, in Pennsylvania, you don't have to have the, the, the normal post office, you know, script to where you, they tell you to leave, you don't. The cops roll up. They tell you, ask you to leave, you don't. They tell you to leave, you don't. Then you go in cuffs. No. In that state, all that has to be done is the proprietor of the establishment. Now, whether that's a business owner or the person in charge of a government building, it doesn't matter. On any property that is not yours, the owner and, or representative only have to tell you to leave one time. And if you don't, that right there is criminal trespass. Don't fall for this, this damn fraud or rhetoric that you have to be asked X amount of times to leave before you get to get your bitch ass put in cuffs. You're such a snowflake. No, if he had hit you, you wouldn't be awake. He ain't referenced the gun. You're the only one that did. I, he won't need a gun to handle your dumb ass. Really? You're right. Listen to that again. God, I really love rookie frauditors. They're kind of entertaining. He just made another script fuck up. He just said, you're right, I had no business recording those people. You damn right you didn't. And he just assaulted her right then. He just assaulted her. Alright, remember, you don't express your constitutional rights. One exercises their constitutional rights. I guess he's getting. I, I don't know what his deal is. He's just. He's just stupid. I'm telling you what okay, my business so is. I, if you would shut up so, and listen, no, 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 we ain't gonna do that. We ain't gonna do that. So let's we ain't gonna do that. Fuck Tyler. Bless him. I'm not sure really which one he's calling a bitch, but I'm thinking either one of these it, the, these people could handle this clown. Expectation of privacy in public service. 
Oh, disrespectful. I came in here not bothering or talking to anybody. Anybody. Wow, I mean, I can't wait to see the reviews on this place after this. I don't know about y'all, but I think I'll get better reviews making fun of this dumbass. It's going to go from a, what, a 3.4 down to a 1? <laughs> yeah, when you see those reviews, you will be. You know that's illegal, and I'm going to be pressing charges yeah, on that. that so you're not allowed to do that. You're, yeah, your sign does not say block the camera or the person. I'm sorry, guys, but he is just effing up so much. Now he's saying that the lady blocking his camera and not touching him that what she's doing is illegal that she's legally that she's not allowed to block his camera the these guys come up with some either they have the most inner they're just the most imaginative brains or they are all smoking the same tainted dope Get away from me. Get away from me, both of you. Get the fuck away from me. Well, what are you going to do? Anyways, guys. This looks like somebody that needs to work here. I don't know still here. That was former Attorney General William Barr, I believe. Um, and then we have the Karen. No, I was going to leave, but he assaulted me. He assaulted me. What's the address here? Pendog. 11620. Drive. Uh, he has a camera. He's pushing out loud to have uh, recordings here. He keeps recording and I ain't being destructive. He's recording. And we disrupted us as we started yelling and screaming. started yelling at these things. <laughs> I started yelling. <laughs> you did. You started yelling and cussing and um, being, I believe there's a, there's a word for it. Uh, oh, yeah, disorderly conduct along with criminal trespass. You're funny. It's all on recording. He has not one time made reference to or touched anywhere near his firearm. Why, why won't you put your camera down? I think you're afraid that that gentleman would beat your punk ass up and down that sidewalk. Oh, you'd smack me? Dude, what, what'd you I never say said that. that. I got it on film. <laughs> uh, you're going to be, it's, you both are going to be fired. Public sidewalk causing complaints on a public sidewalk. Wow. Really uh, you got to go to jail anyway. Okay, we'll see. We'll see who's going to jail. I may not, I may not be allowed to stay here, but I ain't going to jail. I'll tell you that much. Oh, was that another frauditor prediction for the future? Wow. Stevie Wonder would have a better batting average on the target range. This ain't my first time doing it. It's like my tent. Haven't gone to jail yet. You will. Uh, you'll be counting all the views when they look at you. How you doing, guys? Yeah, 
Yeah, can I talk to one of you guys before you guys talk to them? Thank talk you. to her too. Yeah. Um, basically, I just I went inside real quick just to do a quick story on the um, on the book quietly. As soon as I went in, I was pointing at the wall, went to all the public documents, started to do my story, and the next thing I know, I'm getting yelled at. You know, a little bit of an argument ensued. I tried to tell him to de-escalate and calm down, in which he wouldn't. He put his hands on me, locked my camera, hit my camera, probably hit me. It's on their film, too, but he, he, he assaulted me, so I want to press charges on him. And then basically yelling at me, yelling at me. By the time, you know, I was continuing to yell at for probably three or four minutes, I stepped outside because I was beginning to be in fear of him because he kept following me around. He's got a gun, really unhinged. He's got a gun to his head. So I came outside. So. Permission to tape inside of this? Well, I didn't ask for permission because it's a First First Amendment right to freedom of press. All I was doing was a story on the post office. That was my business. And then I had questions to ask people at the counter that were kind of personal. Yeah. You know, so. Uh, but that was all. I, mean, I, I was don't gonna, know what their policy is on filming a sign. That's not a problem. Yeah, the only thing is, is policy doesn't trump law or constitution. It's not property, it does. It, well, it's public. It's the Department of Motor Vehicles or government. But they, they have rules on their property, like... Sometimes you can't get yeah. a gun in there. Oh, absolutely. So that's, that's a violation of the Second Amendment, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, they would have, yeah, that's policy, yeah. though. Yeah. Well, the Second, that's different. You can't go on federal property with a gun unless you're, you know, law enforcement. I get that. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not going to bitch about that? And the same property that says you can't go inside and film, then you have an issue with it? Well, I would think if you were a, a constitutional auditor, that any violation of a constitutional amendment would, would draw your ire. I, I mean, really, you, you just got to stop picking and choosing. It's either all or none, dumbass. Either all our constitutional rights are respected or none of them are. Not just the ones that, that you can get a little YouTube money so you don't have to go get a job so that you can keep smoking weed and living in your mama's basement and stealing Wi-Fi from the McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't somebody getting guns. It's just, you know, unbelievable over a camera how this was too. She, he just, she just said that obviously there's, uh, there's no property. There's no sign. There's yeah. Sign. Well, I understand that. But see, the, the problem with their sign is, is it, it's unconstitutional because... Being that they're state, government, county, city, whatever they are, employees, we should be allowed to go in there quietly and peacefully and audit, you know, audit them. And that's what I was doing. And I... All right, I can't believe I've got to say this, but he, he, he's pushing it, not me. There is no such thing as a First Amendment audit. All right, there isn't. It is a made-up word, just like fraud it. All right, the difference is is that my people, we admit that we made up the word fraud it. You guys, you guys are a bunch of flat earthers who don't know any better. And, just, and that's how that works. How do you not get that? They are allowed to determine what will go on in there or not. You were told to leave, you didn't. So, you have no constitutional right to audit anything. You don't, because it's it's a made-up word in the context that you all use it. I don't know why y'all think that this is so different. And even if, even if your stupid ass was right, Do you understand now? I'm sorry, I, I I don't know how to use any smaller words for it, and I'm afraid that, that we don't have anybody that can help translate, you know, for you. There's just nobody here. Um, the problem is, it's on this video, and I can't stop it right now until the interaction is done. But I'm sure it's on their cameras, but he assaulted me. He would not get out of my face the entire time. And I also, can I get a, can I get a picture of that? Because i got to file a complaint. Oh, I got it anyway. Okay. 
No, I'm just, I'm just a little sore on the side from where he hit me. But... <laughs> you are such a bitch. Hey, it ain't something that happened. <laughs> Basically, what he's saying is they were both in my face the entire time I was in there. He was right up against me, and then his supervisor came, and I kept going like this with the camera because they were so close. One was right here, one was right here, and she kept putting her her hand right here, and he was getting in my face, and then he said, I'll fuck you up, I'll take this badge off, and put something like that, I'll fuck you up. He said something about taking your badge or gun off, and like, uh, no, dumbass. You told him, take that gun off, and I'll show you how tough I am. He didn't. He didn't offer. You asked him to take the gun off and square up with you. Don't, I thought you had it on tape. Let's go outside. It's on camera. It's going to be on YouTube for thousands to see. Thousands are looking at you right now. You can't touch people, man. You didn't touch me. Yeah, and their camera. <laughs> wow, you don't care about your job or your Second Amendment? Okay. I understand that. That is their policy. No, no, no. It's that, a public building, though. It is a public building. It's a public building. They can ask me to leave, but what happened was, in the process of leaving... But you're also a violation of law by taping a sign there. Before that, any of that even happened, how was I supposed to know that? And then... You were supposed to know that because there were seven damn signs on there, you freaking crack baby. Yes. But the thing is, is yeah, it wasn't it didn't go down like that though. He was so aggressive. I didn't know what to do. At the time that him and Uh, okay, let me help you. Since you don't know you didn't know what to do, when they told you to leave, you should have left. The supervisor? Yeah, of course. He, when he came up to me, he lit a fire making everybody upset. No, 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 no. When you see the video, I walked in and was going straight to the wall. My camera was on the wall going down the wall. I wasn't filming anybody. The thing is, is that I'm really upset at the way his behavior was, and this could have went down so much smoother. Yeah, observe and report, not touch. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and you know what I mean? I, I got what I needed on him, and that's really all. I mean, you know, I went in there peacefully. To, 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 all I went in there was to do a story. That's all I went in there to do peacefully. No, I mean, I didn't commit a crime. <laughs> Disorderly conduct, criminal trespass, assault. Those are crimes. Did you? Did they not cover that in clown college? Yeah, but uh, what crime did I commit? Yes, but what crime did I commit? That's point of trespass, man. You can look it up. What's suspicion of crime? I have a camera. Suspicion of crime is that you were told to leave the property by those authorized to tell you to leave the property. You didn't leave the property. That is the fucking definition of criminal trespass, you little crack baby. You have to have reason. No, I don't. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. He does. He has your confession. You confessed. They told you to leave. You didn't leave. There's your RAS, bitch. I didn't commit a crime, sir. I just went in there peacefully. Anytime we contact someone, when they call 911, we have the ID. Make sure you I've done this a dozens of times. This is like yeah. nobody. Every time they've asked me for my ID and I've said no, they walked there's away. A, there's a thing, though. There's a thing, though. You go back in there. Well, obviously, with a camera, too, yeah. Understand. Understandable. We're, we're coming back and we need the ID. Um, now, what do I do about as far as filing a complaint against this guy for hitting me? We 
you'd have to you'd have to contact his agency. Okay, what's his agency well, or name? Well, the thing, are you going to file an actual charges against him? <laughs> no. I need to know. Of course it's legal. How do they know that? I, mean, I could take other routes and just do it another day and go downtown. It's not a big deal. That's fine. Um, I just need his security. I think I already got it anyway on camera, but he won't release his name or anything. Is that policy to release your name? Is that in your fault? Wait a minute. Are you asking him if he's going to follow policy? You just said policy is not law. So which is it? Oh, that's right. You're a frauditor. Law's for thee, but not for me, right? Because you believe in me, the people. You idiot. Policy? I want to know before I contact them. Is it your policy to release your name? <laughs> okay. So he won't release his name. I'm out of here. I'm done. I mean, you know. Don't come back, okay? Because if you come back, then you're going to get a Well, if I come back, this ain't going to come with me. If I come back, it's going to be a legal person. But the thing is, is I didn't even do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's, the thing is, that I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, go ahead. It's crazy, man. It's like, it's, it's wild what a camera can do. Everybody has one wrong when you leave work. I know. Well, when they leave, when they leave home, they're on a thousand of them. And people can fool you half of them. <laughs> well, they can. You're absolutely right. But do you know why you very rarely see foyed surveillance cameras, or very e even, or you scarcely see surveillance cameras foyed and put on YouTube? Even rarer than that is body cams. And the reason is, is because that's not like playing Goat Boy and going to get paper is you you have to pay a lot a lot of money to get the camera footage especially to your proprietary technology they also have to go in and redact certain things that's why y'all's bullshit argument of y'all have Personnel are going to go through and make sure that certain things are redacted for privacy. That's the difference. So, I'm sorry you don't understand that, but take that up with your mother. She's the one that smoked crack while she was pregnant with you, and that's not our fault. It's not in their face. I never got nobody's face, and you'll see that on film. Well, that's his fault. I didn't have any interaction. I don't, I've never even seen him. <laughs> that's the thing. Because he got in my face and hit me, and that's where it ensued. Everything was fine until he stepped in. Actually, everything was fine until you stepped in the building. And we're going to fast forward through this last little bit because it's just him saying, it's kind of a loop. It's just him saying the, the same wrong shit over and over and over. Just this one in particular. I don't know if I'll go to another one. Like, yeah, she doesn't want you to come back. Okay, she, no, that's she fine. She's saying, I guess, she, she thinks you're the same person in Pittsburgh and Washington or something like that. I What's happening? Uh, they were the same person doing the same thing. No, yeah, I'm not from Washington or anything. Yeah. Pittsburgh and somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's not me. I bet it is. No, that's okay, because I can follow my complaints. I know I'll be allowed back in, because I didn't do anything. No, they don't want you coming back. No, 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 I'm going to follow my complaints, and I'll get that taken care of through an upper court if I have to. It's not a okay. big deal. Um, you know, it's just amazing in public how... You, can, you know, in most places they abide by it, and then, then in some they don't. Like, you can walk in in a public place and film, and nobody says not like City Hall didn't say nothing. There's constitution. Right, well, if you're breaking their policy, they're... Exactly. Yeah. It's private property, so they can remove you. Well, how is it private, though, if anybody could walk in? I can go in there and ask for services, which was enough. It's because it's called owner 
ship. And I know that that's a strange concept to you because you still live at your mother's house. And here's the sad thing, guys. This guy's like 40 years old. And he doesn't understand the concept of property. So I had two legal businesses in there. I was doing a story, and then I was going to ask some questions at the teller. I'd go to another one. That's the thing. As soon as I walked in, I just I got bombarded. And my camera, if you'll ever see the video, I'm sure you will, was at the wall, and all the hair was, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck you, you can't do this, bro. And, and people blah, blah, blah. were in there. People were obviously in there, writing down and doing personal information and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, nothing was on there, and as you'll see in the video, none of that was on there. It wasn't zoomed. But how would they know that? All of you act that just act as though y'all's word is just so beyond reproach that anybody should just be able to believe you. Like, I mean, the way you're making it sound is though there, there's no such thing as a lying frauditor. When in fact, a lying frauditor are just two of the same thing. Anyway, guys, it, it it's just him just running his mouth over and over and over again. But I'm going to pay special attention to this this freaking moron because I'm thinking that he's he's going to get hurt or he's going to wind up with significant jail time because his ignorance. Taco Terry understands more than this moron. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. Y'all have a great afternoon. I'll see y'all tonight.